Good evening guys and welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm going to share with you three perfumes that I'm really looking forward to wearing going into the springtime. A couple of these were kindly gifted to me from Fragrance Buy, so thank you so much to them for gifting me a couple of these fragrances. And the other one is from my own personal collection. So if you're interested in hearing which perfumes I am really looking forward to wearing during the upcoming spring weather, then stay tuned. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. On this channel we do talk all about perfume and sometimes some other things around the house and some minimal and home decor and things like that. If that's something that you like, I would love if you would consider subscribing. Also, before we get into it, please comment down below and tell me what your favorite springtime perfume is, or is there a perfume you're dying to wear for the warmer weather coming up? And with that out of the way, let's get started in today's video. Okay, so the first perfume that I am looking forward to wearing this spring and going into the summer, and this one I feel is very, very appropriate for spring, just because, you know, spring for me is like rain and fresh flowers and the grass is coming in and um, I don't know, spring for me is like different than summer. I feel like there's definitely a difference between spring perfumes and summer perfume. More likely to wear my true like fruity fragrances like Orza from Tiziana Trenzi and things like that and like Gabrielle Essence. I feel like those are more like summer perfumes, but this one to me truly does feel like spring because it's very much like fresh flowers and to me that just embodies spring. So this is J'adore from Dior. This perfume has been out for a really long time and I absolutely love it. This is a perfume I've been wanting to bring back to my collection for a long time just because it is probably one of the classiest, most beautiful, easy to wear, grab and go, sophisticated perfumes out there and I've just been really missing it and every time I go to the perfume counter I give this one a spray and I always want to bring it back. So this has notes of pear, melon, magnolia, peach, mandarin orange, bergamot, jasmine, lily of the valley, tuberose, freesia, rose, orchid, plum, violet, musk, vanilla, blackberry, and cedar. Oh, and this is just such a beautiful perfume. So this is a very like shampooy, fresh, kind of soapy perfume. It's a beautiful, soapy, floral fragrance, and to me it just perfectly embodies summer. It also comes in this really elegant, beautiful bottle. Looks really nice sitting on a tray. It's a very like feminine silhouette. It's just a really pretty, timeless, elegant fragrance. It has pretty good performance as well for being a floral scent. And yeah, it just has this like, unbeatable, classy, shampooy freshness about it. So it's shampooy, but not too sweet, not too young, not too flirty. It has like a little bit of a sweetness to it, but that's coming, I think, a little bit from the peach and the melon. And then otherwise you just have this beautiful concoction of like fresh florals and a little bit of a muskiness in there, a little bit of a woodiness, just timeless. This is one of the best perfumes, I think, for women to wear, especially in the spring and even like a good signature scent. So that is the first one that I'm really looking forward to wearing. That is J'adore from Dior. Another one that I am really looking forward to wearing in the spring. This is one of my favorite perfumes, I think. It's becoming one of my favorite perfumes of all time. This is Jo Malone's Peony and Blush Suede. Now you guys, please don't pay full price for Jo Malone. You can get this on Fragrance Buy for so much less than you would pay in any department store. Um, so Peony and Blush Suede, this is a beautiful peony fragrance. It also has a little bit of red apple in there. There's also some jasmine and some carnation. And there's this beautiful suede note. And the suede note that's in here is not a like um, car seat leather, kind of a leather note. It's a very soft, subtle, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's so pretty, you guys. And this is such a classy, again, very classy, very elegant, very timeless. Um, just like a great kind of almost signature scent. If you live in a place where it's a warmer climate, this would be a great signature scent. I can't wear it year round here in Canada because we just have, we just get way too cold of weather and it just does not feel right to wear it in the winter. This for me is truly a spring summer perfume, but there's something about it for me that just screams spring. I don't know, I love this when we're just starting to get those slightly warmer days, the snow is melting, it's still pretty cold outside. Oh, to me, it just perfectly embodies beautiful fresh flowers. It just really makes me feel like spring. I do like it in the summer too, but it's not incredibly citrusy. It's not a super citrusy, like, like super fresh fragrance. And in the high heat of the summer, I do prefer more of my almost like fruity, like Chanel Chance so Tundra for me is almost more summertime. Gabrielle Essence, Tiziana Trenzi, Orza, I think will be great in the summertime. Um, those kind of perfumes. But for me, this one truly is all about that like fresh florals and it just really makes me think of spring. 
Oh my God, this is so beautiful. So beautiful and so easy and so elegant. Such a nice perfume. I actually even like wearing this one in the fall too. So it's a very versatile fragrance. And the next one that I'm looking forward to wearing in the spring, and this is a great, again, all season, all year round fragrance. And unfortunately it is discontinued, but the reason I wanted to share this one with you guys is because Fragrance Buy is the place to look if you are wanting to get your hands on some discontinued gems because Perfumes that are taken off of the shelves in like Shoppers Drug Mart, department stores, Holt Renfrew, The Bay, all of these other places, Sephora, they will eventually pop up, like some really amazing discontinued gems will pop up on Fragrance Buy. So if you look on their website and you see um, a perfume like this or a perfume that you want and it says sold out or out of stock, put your name on the email notification list. You will be surprised how often all of a sudden you'll wake up and there will be an email saying that perfume is back in stock and limited supply and you will be one of the people who's lucky enough to get a bottle. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because that's where you can find a lot of these discontinued gems. And this one I know was on Fragrance Buy. I don't know if they're going to have it back. So this is Le Petit Robe Noir Eau Fresh. This has notes of lemon, bergamot, mandarin, orange, and orange blossom. In the middle, you have almond blossom, sour cherry, freesia, strawberry, raspberry, peach, Turkish rose, Bulgarian rose, jasmine sambac, and in the base, you have pistachio, almond, vanilla, tonka bean, patchouli, and musk. And this fragrance, you guys, oh, this is such a beautiful scent. Um, actually, all of the Petite Robe Noir fragrances are all beautiful, but this one I particularly like because of the freshness. I'm not a super sweet cherry person. If you like cherry perfumes or blueberry or sweet fragrances that are also very, very classy, check out um, a Petite Robe Noir Intense or any of the other Petite Robe Noir fragrances. They're classy, but they're sweet. They're feminine, but they're still very elegant and they have this like flirty, they have this flirty sophistication about them that only Guerlain knows how to do. I'm a huge, huge fan of Guerlain and this is just such a beautiful scent. So this one to me smells like a clean, um, kind of a fruity pistachio soap. That's what it smells like to me. So it definitely has pistachio and almond in here as well. It's a little bit nutty, but there's also this clean, like airy freshness to it. Oh, it's so nice. And I think all the Petite Robe Noir fragrances are beautiful. Another one of my favorite ones is the Intense. That one I'm pretty sure is also still available. I will link that one down below as well. That's one I've been tempted to bring back. I miss that one. Um, just a really beautiful, elegant, sweet kind of blueberry fragrance. But this one I think is perfect for going into spring. Um, again, just because it's very floral and it's still like warm enough and has that nuttiness and that coziness. You can wear it for that sort of transition weather where it's still a little bit cold, not too warm yet. It's kind of like a good transition fragrance. Good for the spring, also good for the fall, good for year round really. It's just kind of nostalgic for me. Something about it is very warm and cozy and nostalgic. I think because I had this perfume way back in the beginning of my channel, um, and yeah, unfortunately I did declutter it. I never should have decluttered it. Um, but the way to get this one is to keep your eyes out. Keep your name on the email notification list if you're looking for this or any other perfumes that you happened to miss out on. And you guys, I just wanna tell you as well, I just put this on my skin and oh my gosh, it's so nice. So this smells actually quite similar to the other Petite Robe Noir fragrances. This one's a little bit fresher and a little bit more floral and more like fresh, like warmer weather spring vibes, which is why I wanted to share it. But the original Petite Robe Noir um, smells very similar. It has that sweet cherry in it. This one is very sweet as well. It's very sweet on the skin. Yeah, it's so pretty. If you would like something similar to this, um, and if you haven't checked them out, I would definitely recommend checking out the Petite Robe Noir, just the original, and also Petite Robe Noir Intense. They're amazing. All of the ones from this line are incredible. I think you can't go wrong with any of them, especially if you are a sweet lover. Maybe you're not into like super fresh citrusy floral fragrances. Maybe you like something a little more sweet and a little more feminine and flirty that can take you into date night, like sexy date night. Definitely check out the Petite Robe Noirs. I will list them all down below. And like I said, don't pay full price. You can get them for a huge discount on Fragrance Buy. So I will link all of them down below for you guys as well. So that was it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed hearing my thoughts on these three perfumes that for me really embody the upcoming spring season. And I'm really excited to hear down below what your favorite spring perfume is as well. And I hope to see you all very soon in my next video. Bye for now.